Dude, we're in Flagstaff. Let's go. Okay, if you don't know where Flagstaff is, it's uh, it's here, right here on the map. But I I didn't even I didn't know what it was or that it was a place. Uh, I was informed that we should go here by uh, Sarah. Yeah, so that that was that was this is a new new place for me. This place is sick. It's a cool little like ski town area. It, it reminds me of like a dirt dirt bag type vibe. It's it's really cool. So many people drive through here. Oh my god, there's RVs everywhere. This one girl actually had the exact same bus as us and we drove by each other and we were both waving and laughing our asses off. It was awesome. <laughs> it has skiing, which is sick in the winter because it's it's crazy because it's in Arizona, but it's such higher elevation. I want to say it's around 8,000, maybe 9,000 feet elevation, something like that. Anyway, super nice. Great hiking, great camping, amazing camping actually. Um, they got fly fishing. There's probably good kayaking. I'm not sure about whitewater rafting. I'm assuming yes. Um, I'm not sure about climbing. Maybe, maybe there's climbing. I don't know, but this town's pretty sick. It's big enough. I think it has like 70,000 people um, population. Maybe I'm off by that, but maybe more. I don't know. There's a school. I didn't even know there was a, there's a college here. First off, how uncomfortable cultured of me to not know this, but man, I really didn't know about Arizona. Let me tell you that. Um, <laughs> there's so many cool little shops and um, restaurants that are in town. They got Walmarts. They got, dude, literally everything. They have everything. This place is sick. Um, and it's still like remote enough where you don't feel like you're overwhelmed by a big city, which is awesome. Cause it's not really a big city. It's, it's, it reminds me more of like a town, but like a bigger size town. I don't know. It's hard to describe. Also what's crazy. There's like a crap ton of golf. Like there's how many golf courses? I think there's like four or five golf courses just around the town which is hilarious to me um but yeah that's that's pretty sweet also what's crazy about this place is there's an airport which is nuts flagstaff is also like 45 minutes to an hour from sedona which is super cool and then on top of that it's not crazy far from the grand canyon so if you want to travel outside get a weekend getaway to one of these places that's freaking awesome man it's right there so now i love this place this place is definitely up there for me uh I'd put it up there with the top five areas around in there where I'd potentially see myself living. S super sick. Cons of this area? Honestly, there aren't really any cons. I mean, unless you're a person who doesn't like a bunch of people passing through all the time because it is a place that people just constantly are going through. If that's a con for you, then yeah, that's a con for you. But like for me, it doesn't bother me at all. So there's that. So rating overall to visit, in my opinion, I'd say it's a 7.9 out of 10 for visiting. It's, it's really good, but if you show up and you don't know what you're doing, there's so much to do and it can throw you off. I don't know. That's just the vibe I got from it. And this is the first time ever I'll say this. I'd say living, it's an 8.9 out of 10. So it's, it's even better. This is a way better place to live than to visit, in my opinion. Um, super cool to visit, but to live, psh, there's so much to do. You'd have too many hobbies. So that's what I say. Anyway, that's all I got for you. I'm going to go uh, do something crazy. Peace. Loser. What's there to hold in the light of this moon? My mind keeps searching, but my heart decides. You know, just a little stroll on the side of a mountain. How you doing? Wonderful. Oh, what about now? <laughs> <laughs>